everyone, welcome back to another plan with me today. I'm going to be decorating for Halloween week because the 31st is Halloween and I honestly haven't decorated any of my past weeks with the Halloween theme yet at all this month and I have quite a bit of Halloween washi and a Halloween sticker book that I want to use. So I got the sticker book from Michaels a while back, maybe a couple months ago, I think back in September maybe. Um, so I want to use it this week because it's kind of like the last week that I can really use it because Halloween will be over um and I, i'm not a huge like halloween fan so i don't think i'll be using this to decorate other like spreads although there are a few things um in here that i can use you know throughout the fall months like the pumpkins i feel like they're not necessarily just halloween there's like um candy apples and stuff like that and i can use that in other months as well and yeah i that's this is why i chose this book it's because i felt like there were stickers in here that were not super like halloween specific like it's i could still use them for other like weeks um but i also purchased quite a bit of halloween washi from the dollar tree that i want to use because you know when else am i going to use it and then i have a few that i like just pre-cut myself um so yeah this week i'm actually going to not use any etsy stickers it'll just be that sticker book and then my halloween washi so it'll be a little bit more simple i think we are going to get started. And of course, I'm gonna start with my washi tape. Um, so let me take them out of the container. So if you watched my recent dollar haul, you probably saw that I hauled these in there. I purchased these from the Dollar Tree. They are like Halloween themed. I don't wanna call them washi because it's not really washi tape, but it's more like a paper tape. They're a little bit thicker and just more like tape like material, or like paper like material than washi is. Um, but I wanna use these. And then I also have these washi like strips that I pre-cut. You can get these at my shop. I have other designs too because you might you might not want the Halloween ones anymore after this week, but I do have lots of other different designs. And if you've seen me use certain washi and you'd like me to make samples out of them, feel free to leave me like um, a message on Etsy and I'll see if I have enough washi to do that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to use these and I think I'm going to start with... I think I'm going to use this striped one and put this along the bottom. And I actually haven't used this Dollar Tree washi before. Um, so I don't know if this is going to rip easily with a ruler. I'm hoping that it will, um, but we shall see. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this along the bottom. I think I also want to take this along the edge here, but it's obviously too thick and I don't really want to wrap it around to this side because I don't think it will look very nice. So I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this off, but first I kind of want to measure and see how much I'm going to need, and then I can trim it down to size. And I just ripped that page, fantastic! So be careful with the Dollar Tree washi. It is removable, but you do have to be a little bit more careful with it. As you can see, I just ripped this page, but that's okay because I'm actually gonna cover it up with washi anyway, so I'm not like super upset about it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down. And I actually only have one day off this week. I only have Friday off. I'm working Monday to Thursday and then Saturday and Sunday. So I'm not going to put a weekend banner up here. But I do have this like bunting like washi that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. And I think I'm going to use it just on Friday which is my day off. Just to kind of spruce it up a little bit. Kind of help me get excited for the fact that I don't have to go to work that day. Um, so I think this will be fun to add to that. So it does rip quite easily if you are curious about the Dollar Tree like um, paper tape or washi, whatever you want to call it. Um, it. It rips really easily because it is that like paper material. It's actually a lot easier to tear than regular washi. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put this bunting all throughout this day. Actually, I might want to cover up 
the header. I think I want to do that actually. I don't really like, although the header is orange and it, you know, pretty much goes with this Halloween theme. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cover it up. I just don't really like the way that it looks with this washi underneath it. All right, and then for the rest of the week, I think I'm going to use, let's see, should I use this one? Yeah, let's use the spiders. We'll use the spiders along the top here on these headers. And then I'm just going to use this on Sunday because on the 31st, I think I want to decorate this differently than the rest of the week as well, just because it is Halloween that day. I honestly have no idea how this is going to turn out. I didn't really think this through. I just knew that I wanted to use my washi and that's pretty much it. So we will see how this turns out. I'm a little bit nervous that I might not love this week's spread, but we'll see. Hopefully it turns out decently <laughs> I, again i would love to know what your guys' theme is are you going with a halloween theme this week or are you doing something a little bit different i would like to know um so i'm going to take actually these like pre-cut strips that i've done and for this day like for actual holiday holiday halloween day i think i want to keep it like this black and gold theme just to really make it stand out I'll bring this striped one back in and put it in the middle section and then I'll take the other spiders and put them down on the bottom headers. I'm also going to use these like gold pumpkins and put them along the um, bottoms of the boxes just to bring a little bit more gold in here because I just have it here on the 31st so at least this will hopefully like tie everything in a little bit more and honestly I just want to use these like pumpkin uh, or like jack o lantern washi tape because yeah I, I do think they're really cute I love gold and when else am I going to use it And since I'm working with a bigger area on this side, I'm going to go ahead and just use the roll to apply this washi along the bottom. Now I want to mark the days that I have work and I think I'm going to use this striped washi again and I might make like little um, like flags out of them. So let's see how that turns out. So and I don't necessarily want these flags to be perfect. Like I don't need them to be perfect. So I am going to just kind of cut them in different sizes. So I might actually alternate and use some of these spider web ones as well to mark my work days. Um, and they don't have to be all the same. I kind of want them to be a little bit different. So I'm going to cut it this way for this one. Okay, and then I'm going to take some of these stickers. I think it'd be fun to add a few of them to kind of 
you know, emphasize the work day. I think I'm going to use some of these spiders and maybe some of the bats. I think these are really cute too. So now I'm just going to go ahead and write in my work hours and then write day off on this one lonely day this week. I also really love these like spooky candy jars and I think I want to put them along the bottom um, and I think I'll have enough to do that for the whole like week so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I just think they are so cute so I'm just gonna keep them in that order and put them along the bottom here I think that's really cute. I'm sorry if you guys can't see. I know there's a glare because of the lighting, um, but that is what it looks like on the bottom. I know this is like super sticker heavy, but I do think that it's really cute. Kind of has a nice little border effect along the edge here. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and continue it down here. So yeah, I think that that is looking super cute so far. I'm going to use one of these pumpkins to mark that it is Halloween and I can write that in here. I'm just going to put a little pumpkin down here and write Halloween in there. Maybe add another sticker. Let's see what would look nice with it. Yeah, let's put a piece of candy in the corner here like that and then I can just write in Halloween. So I'm sorry that it's casting such a really bad glare. I know it makes it really difficult to see. Um, it's because the stickers are glossy and some of the washi is metallic, so it's kind of really shiny. Um, but anyway, this middle section I think I want to dedicate to like my to-dos or things that I just want to accomplish that day. Since I am working most of this week, um, I'm probably not going to be doing a whole lot of like extra stuff. So this will just be like important to-dos that I want to do that day or reminders and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and fill whatever I can in for that. Um, today I am doing a lot of laundry and trying to catch up on some cleaning. So I have this little witch from the sticker book and she has a broom. And I thought that that would be cute to mark that I will be cleaning today. So I'm just going to stick her right here. And then tomorrow I need to finish my cake pops that I want to bring to work and have Blake bring to work and stuff like that. So I think I'll use this candy apple to mark that because I want to get those done. And Sunday the 1st, rent is due, so I want to put something down to remind me to pay that. I think I'll use one of these, like, I think it's like a gecko or a lizard. I really don't know. Let me know if you know what animal this is. And I'm just going to hang him upside down like that. I think that would be cute. And I can put rent due. All right, that took me a while, but I cut out the bunting a little bit. Um, so I think I will put that here. Okay, and I cut out another piece, and then I think I will swoop that this way. 
So I just added another little piece up here and then I'm gonna stick this sticker down in the middle. Like that. And it's not gonna cover up all of the date, but that's fine. And I think I'll just leave it like that. And I did wanna use the cat, but I think it's already like super cluttered here. Maybe I can find another spot for him. Maybe I can put him here. And then I'll take one of the frogs and I can stick him over here. And I do want to use this like side area as like a giant to-do list for the week. And I've gone ahead and cut out a little bit more of that bunting because I do think it's cute, but I kind of like it better without the background. But I'm just going to sweep this along the side like this. think that that is cute and then I can just write to do over here. So yeah, I think I am done for this week. I'm sorry again for the glare. I know it makes it really hard to see, but actually I might take a few of the candy corn stickers from the sticker book and put them along the top here and maybe alternate with some of the other candy pieces just to kind of decorate in between the days up here because it's kind of looking a little bit bare. And I think that that is it for this week. Um, it's really sticker and washi heavy. Um, and I was worried about it at first because I went into this plan with me without a plan, ironically enough. But I think it turned out really well. I love the colors. I think the stickers are really cute. And the fact that there's still a lot of white space, I feel like kind of helps with the busyness of it. Like it doesn't feel too heavy on the eye. Um, so yeah, I think it turned out really nicely. I like the colors together too. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's plan with me and if you did I hope you give it a thumbs up I'd also again love to hear what you guys ended up doing for your theme this week I know the majority of people are probably doing the Halloween theme But it's nice to see kind of how everybody does it a little bit differently I'd love to know what kind of washi and what stickers and color scheme you ended up going with um, And yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and a happy and safe Halloween this weekend Thank you so so much for watching I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!